three seconds. Here we go. Perfect, that works awesome. Hey Sam, have you seen my phone anywhere? Hey Toby, what are you playing? He's playing Vikings War of Clans. A massive multiplayer online game inspired by the strategy and RPG games of the 90s. The gameplay is always changing with over 20 million players fighting over resources, forging new alliances, and competing in live events. Vikings War of Clan is really addicting. Usually we're traveling a lot, so we play it on the go. Support my channel by downloading Vikings for free only from my links in the description. You get a special bonus of 200 gold coins and a protective shield. Don't forget to look me up and join my Vikings clan, D's Nuts with three threes, and we'll see you out there. Okay, Sam, I followed the tutorial. What do you think is going to happen when I turn this bad boy on? Do you think it's going to work? No, you didn't follow the directions. No, I didn't. I mean, I may have, you know, taken some liberties because he clearly yeah. didn't state, you know, where the wires went for the Adreno, so... You didn't even use the right code. What code? That's open to interpretation. All right, let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sam, you ready to take a selfie? Yeah, nope. I'm out. What? It's not that dangerous. All right, well, Sam's checking out. Let's take this selfie. All right, set the timer. Three seconds. Here we go. Perfect, that works awesome. Phone drone, come down. <laughs> okay, well this is obviously fake and stupid, but another YouTube channel, uh, Mark Robert, he's a really, really cool science channel. You should check him out. We will be checking him out, actually. But he came to us with the task of actually building a functioning bicopter. Because um, there was this video going around of this thing. It basically, it's like a cell phone drone. It's got these motors, you know, you put on it, yada, yada, yada. You turn it on, it's supposed to work, but it doesn't really work. We're going to explain that in his channel, so you'll have to check that out for that. It's a lot of fun. We have tons of fun doing that. But we're going to build a working bicopter now to actually see if it's possible to build this. Because this, obviously, stop playing with the stick. This is just going to do this when we try it. You ready? Do it. iPhone. Hey, it slowed the fall. Fly the doohickey. Let's do it. All right, here we take this. All right, here we go. Let's arm it. Thank <laughs> you. 
okay, well, it's not half bad, but it didn't actually go like this. What you saw was the montage and us flying this, but first we had to do a lot of tuning. Ta-da! Okay, basically, yeah, you saw all the crashes, and this is basically what I had to go in here. I had to go over here, look at all these numbers and stuff. Remember the cheat codes, triangle, triangle, square OX, L1, L1, down, up, and that gets you the flying copter. So, naturally, we had a lot of fun with this thing. You're gonna see us do more of this with Mark in the uh, following video, but don't click, don't leave the video yet. We still got a lot more to cover and explain about this. He's gonna explain the workings of the actual bicopter. However, we're gonna explore the feasibility of a selfie phone drone and why you should or should not make this. Okay, let's insert the cell phone. Come on. Well, the phone's dead, but we're not gonna use full video of this anyway, so let's put that, oh. It screamed at me. It's still screaming at me. All right, I think it's just been idle too long. Okay, let's put that phone in there. So let's see it fly with the actual weight of a cell phone. It might come after you, Sam, I don't know. Actually, no, it should stay after me, because it's heavy on this side. Where are you going? It's not that dangerous. It takes a lot of power to fly. That's a lot better at least. Yeah, so I guess it's pretty much set. You know, I think we're just gonna save this one for Mark. We're probably gonna build a few more of them, so if you don't see this one on video, be sure that you know we have multiple ones with different flight controllers and all that. But let's discuss some of this stuff going on inside of this actual phone drone. So, inside here, and for the uh, equipment in this thing, we have a KK2 board, circa 2011 technology. For the motors, we got these uh, Lumineer RX 2206s, 2350 kVs. These things spin five inch propellers. And we got some Lumineer ESCs. These are like 30 amperes. An 850 milliamp battery. It's a four cell. And an FR Sky receiver and some HS85 Metal Gear servos. I think that about covers the technical aspects of what's inside of it. But let me go around to this side of the table because I got some more demonstrations to show you. So, when we were flying it, we tried to actually take some pictures with it, and you know, it's just not really the best thing because of this control loop of doing this. It's not very aerodynamically stable, and augmenting the rotating masses, there's this little force called, there's this little known thing called gyroscopic precession. It's when you rotate a spinning mass, you get torque, and you get some, uh, what is it, Sam? What was the thing? Uh, There's a thumb. Angular loop. velocity. Yeah, angular velocity. Feedback. That sounds smarter. So you do get some outside feedback loops. So this thing is not the most stable thing in the world. We actually are going to go into a, a park and we're going to try to do some aerobatics with this. But that's going to be close to the end of the video. But researching more into this and looking into other uh, ways of augmenting stability on just two rotor machines, we found this thing. <laughs> like the motors if you look closely. Stop. 
Okay, cool. So we found this, and this doesn't actually manipulate the motors for you can notice for control among this axis and this axis. What it does is it has these things called servos, basically the same thing we have in other ones, to augment these control vanes. Now this doesn't actually impart a you know a net force in the airframe by manipulating the motor, so you get more of a true, you know, swishy swishy side to side thing. So this actually works really good, but the problem is this can't actually carry a cell phone. So this takes us to another option. This, this is a drone with a cell phone taped to it. It's not very imaginative, but there's a reason why the industry has settled on these four rotor machines, because augmenting the six axis of freedom of flight is way easier with four motors. You have no moving servos or anything like that. You simply have just spinning motors and all that, and they only control it themselves. So we're gonna fly this, and we're gonna see how bad this actually is, because you know, a phone drone sort of sounds cool, but it doesn't actually make sense because you have the weight of the phone, you have the giant LCD screen, you have the battery for the phone that doesn't actually fly the, the drone itself, and then you have like all the other stuff inside of it that's not an, an essential to the phone drone. So there you have it, the woefully impractical hobby grade drone <laughs> strapped to my phone. But you know, phone drone, sounds cool. Still not practical at this stage because of the technology. It's just not quite there yet to make a phone case that can fly. Super cool and all, but you know, we just can't make this work with those tiny motors and all that. But you know what's better than this if you want to actually get an actual drone to take your phone? A DJI Spark. Okay, so now it's time for the long-awaited aerobatics. I think I'm gonna do a, uh, I'll do a roll first because I know it'll probably survive that and if it survives that, we'll just do a loop and we'll call it a night. You almost hit me. <laughs> All right, ready for the loop, here we go, or the roll, here we go. Whoa, whoa, uh, that didn't quite roll, whatever. Yeah, there it is. Woo! Do it again so I can see it better. I still want to hit my car. You ready? Yeah. Woo! This thing could do some aerobatic. Alright, you ready for the loop? Yeah. Whoa! That was sweet! It survived that! <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Uh. Well then, okay, so I guess I'll probably, ra let's, go, let's go get this thing first. I think the drone is seen by today's. Uh, we are missing the lower half of this. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that's literally all we got for you guys, so let me know in the comments what else you wanna see. We may have tried doing more of these DIY videos with like, you know, drones like this thing, because uh, this is highly impractical, didn't really work out, cool concept. Uh, just not physically possible just yet unless phones get lighter or drone motors get more powerful. But either way, I think that's all for you uh, for this video. Bye. You broke my beautiful bicopter. Hey, it's still actually this is probably still flyable. Oh yeah, that's true. whatever. Alright, let's go.